Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Wednesday the 2nd of June. The local media headlines today. There's not long to go now before we find out if the Covid lockdown is going to end on the 21st of June. Some say it should, some say it shouldn't. The St Austell and Newquay Member of Parliament is most definitely one of the former. Steve Double is firmly in the pro-tourism camp and doesn't want any more Covid restrictions putting people's livelihoods at risk, but a growing body of scientific opinion is more cautious. The other big story that's about to kick off is the G7 summit in St Ives. Cornwall's business leaders are still looking for some kind of positive legacy that might come from it, but they shouldn't beat themselves up if they don't find one. Nobody else has before. Meanwhile, County Hall officials are starting to put together agendas for the sorts of things they want their new political masters to talk about. Pretty much the same as their old political masters, really. And the ambulance service is continuing to warn that demand is outstripping supply, as thousands of tourists are now adding to the daily emergency calls. Pirate FM has been among the media reporting how the coming G7 summit is going to bring disruption across Cornwall, starting yesterday. Large parts of the southwest coastal path are now closed, especially around the Carbis Bay area. Some of the closures will remain until long after the summit is finished. The Falmouth Packet looks forward to the imminent reopening of the town's Princess Pavilions, recently transferred to the local town council. And finally, Cornwall Live is worried about thunderstorms. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on the social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.